I'm Bill Snodgrass, and in this video, I'm gonna go over five things that you need to think about and maybe do before any time you go out and take pictures. Uh, and th these tips are, are, are appropriate for probably any kind of photography thing that you're gonna go do, and especially if you're gonna go and shoot people. Number one, the first thing is, you need to think about your camera batteries and your storage media. Obviously, the camera's not gonna work if you, if you don't have a charged battery. So make sure your batteries are charged ahead of time. Charge the night before uh, and you know get those things charged up. The camera's not gonna work. Also, you need to keep your, your storage media organized. Um, I, I like to use different uh, SD cards for different projects. I've labeled these things with a Sharpie, real simple process, and I'll just literally write on an index card which card goes with which project. If you're doing two people at the same time, do person one on this SD card and person two on this SD card and just keep up with your storage media. The second thing you need to do ahead of time is think about what you're gonna be shooting and what lens is the best option for doing that. Now, not everybody has multiple lenses and sometimes you have to uh, use your techniques and the lens you have to get the best, the best work that you can get done. But if you do have multiple lenses, there's a really good chance that the lens that is best for nature photography is probably not the lens that's best for portrait work. Maybe the same lens will work, maybe it won't. So you need to think about the characteristics of the lens and, and the, the project that you're working on and see which one is gonna be best. The third thing is, now that you've picked out a, a lens or the lenses for the, for, the, for the photo session, go ahead and clean them. Taking an extra few minutes before you're going out to do something uh, is just gonna increase the quality of, of the project. So take care, take care of those lenses. Now, now the fourth thing is maybe the most complicated and challenging for new photographers. Um, but, but you need to think about the venue that you're gonna be shooting in terms of how is the, how is the lighting gonna work? How are you gonna light the venue? If you're shooting inside, um, are you using natural light? Are you using window light or just the, the lights in the, in the place? Or are you gonna take in supplemental lighting like flashes or strobes? Uh, and you need to think about that. And if you are gonna use flashes, you need to make sure you have batteries for your flashes. If you're shooting outside, now you have a whole different uh, set of, of considerations. What kind of light needs are you gonna have? Uh, what time of day are you shooting? What's the weather conditions like? Do you need a fill flash, or do you, or, or can you, can you use a reflector to enhance the the lighting? Um, uh, reflectors like this, these pro professional photography reflectors, they're not nearly as expensive as you would imagine. I've got a link down in my uh, links comment section. You can check this check this out. There's different brands and different options, but you don't even have to go on uh, in the professional photography thing. You can go to the auto parts store and get one of those magic sunscreens for the window and they will work very well to add some augmented light. And you've got black and, and silver and you, you can use them to create different lighting effects very inexpensively and very simply. I just got this one and it was like $6.50 at the auto parts store. So that's an alternative and a quick, and it's very compact. This is small enough. You can probably fit this in a lot of camera bags where this is just a little too big for that. How are you gonna light the situation? That's, that's a consideration. Think about that in advance and be prepared. The last thing is uh, probably more applicable for when you're when you're photographing people and that is props sunglasses balls blankets uh, towels do you want to throw out a picnic blanket in the grass and have them sit on that uh, and if so what color is gonna go well with the clothes they're wearing or how about uh, a towel to sit on if you're gonna have one maybe sit on a wet stump throw a towel down and make it a little more comfortable for them think about these kind of props and, and auxiliary things that you might need. So that's it, that's the five tips, the five tips for this, uh, for this video. One is your batteries and your media. Two is picking the right lens. Three is getting that thing cleaned up. Number four is think about the lighting demands of the situation you're going into. And lastly, do you need to take any props? Is there anything you need to take with you? Hope you enjoyed this video. I try to keep this brief and move it along quickly. Uh, if you have any questions, down in the comment section, let me know what you're thinking. If, you, if there's any, any thoughts or questions you wanna ask, uh, likes, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.